he's not saving a timeout to say, let's try and get something and get up and, and take a quick timeout. I, I think that timeout tells you everything you need to know about his mindset, what he's thinking right now. He's in the huddle, and he's saying, we got to score. And this is where coaches, Brad, they always leave plays in their back pocket for situations like this. They always have some kind of trick play or they have some kind of call. And a lot of times when you're in a position like this, they're close enough, they can stay within their system. It's not on the 50 where you need to do a Hail Mary, much closer. So a lot of options for him. We're excited to see what he does. Size and wide receivers, you're going end zone. Tipped and caught. Junior Alexander wins it for Kennedy. It's up in the air, and, and you have your freshman throw it to your other freshman. And watch the balance, the hand-eye coordination. He's got a guy in front of him jumping, tipping it, a guy coming over the top, barreling down on him, and the athletic ability to stay on his feet. Most guys would have would have fallen to the ground right there. And catches the ball and looks over to his sideline, and he said, did that really happen? Did that really happen? I'm, I'm going to go celebrate with my guys. Oh, it did. you got to finish. It doesn't matter who's up at halftime or the third quarter. It's it's who's winning at the end. But look at the concentration. That That is so difficult to do, to stay on his feet. He's falling backwards. And Gio comes Gio's over, and he's over. a nice athlete. He's trying to make a play on the ball. But um, the, the freshman just...